Hello YouTube friends. I'm up here in Pink HQ because I want to tell you about what Anna and I have been doing in these couple of weeks that we've had this downtime. Uh, we've been uh, working away at restocking the shop first of all with uh, books and cards, reprint of those, so we've been packing those and they're now back in the shop again. I think when we looked there were like three or four pairs of candles left, not many, but there's some of those. But what we've been working on for, this, for, the, for the shop update for um, this time is two things. So those of you who've been following along with me trying to clear my house and trying to get rid of the vast amount of stuff I've got uh, might be interested in the first thing I've got to show you. We've made these treasure boxes. And now the film that you're going to see coming af after this little chat, we took it ages ago. It might even have been pre-haircut, who knows. Uh, so the treasure boxes then, everything in these boxes I already had, including the boxes. So I was given a load of these boxes to use up and I had some left over. So inside here then, well, you'll see, because we're going to pack them with you now <laughs> in this video, but there's all sorts of bits and pieces. Haberdashery, lots of haberdashery things, some of my little treasures, and then Philippa, who, if uh, those of you who know Philippa, she is my friend who makes beautiful fused glass, and she made these gorgeous little bits of um, colourful fused glass. She makes these into jewellery. And sometimes they're not quite up to her exacting standard. And so I get to buy them. And I really like them. And I have way, way too many. So there's one of those in each of these boxes as well. So check out the link in the description below. You'll always find it there where we uh, will explain to you about the treasure boxes. But also the video that's coming now is all about them. But this is a double shop update. Because the other thing that Anna and I have been working on, and this I think this film will have um, some f footage about that as well, I've been wanting for ages now to make another kit. I made a kit last year, uh, which was um, the pink cushion kit, which people really liked. And so now I want to share with you the bird kit. And so there are, I've made a few so that you can see what they look like here. Um, with all this little pom-pom braid. I'll, I'll show you, there's another one there. I'll show you this one. And so these are little birds. I'm gonna say right away, they're not toys because they've got buttons on and, and bits and pieces, you know, that makes them not a toy. But I think, you know, they're, they're safe enough. <laughs> so what we've got going on here then is all the bits and pieces in the kit for you to make one of these birds. Um, there's an instruction booklet as well, uh, which will show you how to put it together, but also there's a lot of imagination. You can add in your own design and style to this little bird. Each kit then has got the body, a bit of wadding to make it a little bit less flat, wings with different wing templates for you to choose from. So there's felt uh, to be, you know, different coloured wings, whatever. There's a beak, there's eyes, there's a little sequin thing to be that weird thing that birds have. There's tail feathers, uh, there's hanging ribbon, all sorts of little bits and pieces in this kit for you. And what we're going to do is list them by colour so that the, you'll be able to choose which body colour you want because there's going to be different body colours. But then all the bits inside might be any colour you get uh, there's threads as well. I've been winding some threads so that you can um, uh, embroider on your bird. Uh, when you watch this video, uh, Martha was visiting with Agnes and uh, they helped wind the bobbins for me. So what's coming next then is a lovely a bit of video that Anna's put together for you and we'll see you over in the shop where all of these things will be listed. Thanks for watching. Your grandma. And your grandma sticker. Here's grandma. And here's grandma. Hair. And grandma here's her got grey hairs. hair. She's got some silver. <coughs> That's what you're using. And she's happy. Oh, grandma's yeah. always happy.
Do Agnes. Do Agnes, yeah. <coughs> Where is Agnes's colours? What colour jumper would you like to wear, Agnes? Uh, band. Here you are, you're happy too. Little nose. <laughs> well, that's good. I'm glad you're happy. Here's Agnes. And you've got neck and jumper. And your jumper is stripy. I'm just winding this blue on now, Agnes. Do you want to wear your grandma sticker? Oh, have you made it I'm from a sticker? Oh, look at that. There's grandma, and grandma can wear that. And I can wear the Agnes sticker on my apron. Isn't that cool? Yeah, yeah. I've got you, you've got me. There's grandma. I didn't know you were doing them on the stickers. Yeah, just set two, really. <laughs> Do you want a mummy and a daddy sticker? <laughs> I'm doing the blue bobbin now, Agnes. Just winding the bobbin up. Yeah. yeah. Which one? Should we do a should we do a daddy with an orange cap? This is nice that I'm using all of Nana's embroidery threads, Martha. Yeah, I remember these boxes. Yes, I'm handwriting all over them. Yeah. What does compatible DMC mean? It means that DMC is a type of thread. And this thread isn't DMC, but it is compatible with it. Uh -huh. Compatible DMC. That must That's what that means. Good. That hasn't got any writing Good. on. But this has. And these ones, these numbers here, like this one here, 666. Six, six. It's not anything. <laughs> it's, you know, not, I don't even know what film that's from. But uh, this is like the numbers that were inside here for whatever project she was doing. So I've done blue, Agnes. What colour shall I do now on the blue one? What's the other colour going to be? I can use pink or green. Or orange. Or orange. There's not much orange on there. I want there to be lots. So let's see what's in here. Let's open another one up, shall we? Daddy's going to wear his green shirt. What about, oh, that's got, oh, there's some orange. So well, this actually that looks a lot more like John than it does look like Daddy. We have a sticker with John on. Do you want the John sticker or Grandma have the John sticker? I think I could have a collection of my family, couldn't John. I? Is that John? That's John. Oh yeah, that's totally John, that is. That's <laughs> Uncle John. Uncle John sticker. Is it Uncle John? Who should we do next? Oh, let's do Norma. Oh, let's, do Norma. let's do Norma. Where is... Where is Norma? She's asleep. Always asleep. Always asleep. Quite old now, Norma. How old actually? Twenty. Oh, she was so twenty. Um, this year, this summer. She's twenty. Norma. Do you want to have the Norma sticker on? I'm going to find Norma. There you go. Mm. I don't think Norma would like you to stick it on her. No, Norma doesn't want the sticker. Well, no, you can have the Norma like sticker. That. Put it on your tummy so you can so, see it. Look, Agnes, I've got okay. orange with this blue. Do you like it? That's a good one. Yeah. So whoever gets this one in their bird kit will be able to do their bird orange or blue on the wings. Have your own sticker. I think it's, uh... Oh, right. Is that me? Yeah, it was you. Oh, I'm stuck up with stickers. Do you want Norma? Yes, please. Always. I've got them all. Oh, that's nice. There's Norma. Do you want to find Norma? Go and have a look for Norma. Go and see if you can find see her. She's asleep already. Can I have the crayon then? Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so now uh, Anna and I are going to spend this lovely sunny morning doing some more bird kits, putting some bird kits together. Yeah. And what Anna's doing at the moment, we've got the length that we need for the ribbon that's going to be the tail, the spotty ribbon. But what I've noticed is we're getting into a massive tangle. So I've been upstairs and I've got the big bag of Duplo, which is like Lego but much bigger. Did you have Duplo as a kid? Yeah. Yeah? And I've made... So I've made this little thing. I don't know if it's going to work, but I'll make it up, Anna. And I'll, so I've made these things. Okay, no, no, bear with me. Bear with me. You might think you might think I'm crazy, but no, I'm enjoying it. Okay, so I'm going to make a jig thing, and the ribbons are red, pink, this lovely green. There's a turquoise. Make sure I've got one of every colour. Are there any other colours? There's a blue there. Yeah, can you take the plastic off that blue, please, mm -hmm. Anna? Mm -hmm. Red, green, yellow. We need a yellow. Well, Number seven. 
seven. Okay, because Anna's counting them all so that we don't cut all of it up. <laughs> Uh, I have, uh, uh, yeah, I've, okay, so pop that oh, on, pull this, down. pull this out and stick it on there, oh, and that so that's good. like that, and then that goes on there, uh. <laughs> and then your ribbons will pull out, we'll pile the ones that we're not using up here, so we're a bit tidier, mm. and there, Anna, <laughs> is excellent a ribbon jig for your cutting. <laughs> Thank you. We're pulling it out. So Anna's pulling out the ribbon. You can position it here if you want them coming off sideways. And give them an, an inch extra, Anna. Because we've got plenty of ribbon. There it is. This is tail ribbon for the bird kits. There. So it's going to look like that. That's the, that's the ribbon for the tail. And uh, it's so a mystery cute. what colour you'll get in your kit. Mm. But, um, yeah. So I'm going to, and I'm making wings now. Excellent. So this is uh, wings. So some of them will have red wings. I've got some pink wings, blue wings, all different colours of wings. And then this is the beaks. And this is just a little square of felt for the beak. Now, if we look at the bird, this is far bigger than you need for the beak of the bird. But I've given you a big piece so that you can choose whatever design you want. My suggestion would be is that you fold it in half like that and then choose how big you want your beak to be. But the beaks are all in there and I'm cutting wings now. Cutting wings. And the wings are... You'll, this will be in your pattern. You'll have all the different designs of wing that I've come up with, but you can choose. So if you look here, this bird's got a sort of uh, spiky wing. This bird's got round wings. Now, the pattern pieces are going to be in the little booklets that you get, but you can design your own wing pattern from your piece of wing felt. It's big enough to do whatever you want. Uh, so that wings and beaks I'm on now, while Anna's on ribbon. I'm at the point now where I'm using some of my spare bits of wadding and I'm cutting the bit of wadding that will make the bird be a bit three-dimensional. So this is the bird body, which I've already cut and put onto um, stabiliser, so it's a little bit thicker. And so this gets folded in half. It's all in the instruction kit, how you do this. And then this little piece of wadding goes inside here and gets stitched round. And we're cutting out all these bits of ribbon and wings. So here's the here's the bit of f uh, felt that would you can cut out your wing template from. Bigger than you need it to be. And Anna's been cutting all the ribbons and the ribbon to hang it with and everything. And I have to say that of all the tasks, the wadding cutting out is possibly the most tedious because um, I want it to be quite accurate for you. I mean, I could just give you a piece of wadding, but I thought... Oh, I'll cut it for you. And this is some lovely natural cotton wadding. And so I'm just, and I'm doing it's double, so it's folded, so that when you get your bird kit, this little piece of wadding is already there to make your bird a bit fluffy and plumptious. But these are quite tedious to cut out and they're going to take me a long time. And don't worry about these little bits because I've got some thoughts about what to do with these for a future project. Nothing gets wasted here at the last homely house. It's a lovely day and it's really good fun. Anna and I have got some good tunes on um, and the sun's shining and we're having fun.
kind of fits in beautifully. We put the little treats and treasures in, and then we fold this over, tuck that in. Yeah. And maybe put a sticker on top? Yeah, I was thinking that. Do you think so? Mm -hmm. All right then, what we need then is to, so, shall we explain to folk what we're doing? <laughs> yes. This is uh, the latest in the series of decluttering Kate's house, <laughs> which is definitely long overdue. And this one is an opportunity to share with you some of the little bits and pieces that I've got too many of. And you know how you keep storing things and you think, oh, that'll come in useful one day. And that day never comes. <laughs> Well, that day is going to come for someone. <laughs> Whoever wants to buy one of these treasure boxes. And shall I talk through what all the things are? Because yeah. what we've done this morning, uh, I've got the bin, haven't I? Yeah. yeah. What we've done this morning then is, uh, and I've been doing this over the last weeks. Yeah, it's been a long while. Yeah. Is going through the big drawers downstairs, because we're in the shipping room now, uh, sorting out all the uh, beads, uh, different sorts of beads. There are buttons here. Uh, I well over ordered on little pinwheels. I love these pinwheels. Do you it's, want one? Is that okay? <laughs> yes. <laughs> They're so cute. They are really nice, aren't they? Yeah. Okay, well, there'll be a pinwheel. But the thing <laughs> about this is there might be a pinwheel in your treasure box, but there might not be a pinwheel in your treasure box. No one treasure box is the same. No, they won't be the same. I mean, when Philippa, who does my beautiful glass, uh, is making, um, she makes far more than the things she makes for me here. But she makes beautiful pendants uh, out of this, this glass. And sometimes when it goes in the kiln, it comes out and she's not 100% happy with it. And she's got very, very high standards. So these little things here, they're, so uh, beautiful. they're pretty, aren't they? Oh, I like that one. Do you want to put that on your pile? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Anna's making a row. See, I like that one. Yeah, so, nice. but instead of us pointing at them in my hand where you can't see them, I'll put some film over <laughs> the top here where you can. And so I'm going to, to keep these nice and safe, I think I'm going to wrap them in a bit of fabric. That's a good idea. And the fabric will be uh, here. Now this is, um, this, my mum kept everything in these um, ice cream ice cream containers they must have eaten a lot of this ice cream because in clearing my mum's things there are hundreds of these ice cream containers and each one of them has got something like this in oh is there a little label yeah two and a half by five inches so that's what's in this little pack here yeah. now they may not be any use to you with your sewing but your little glass thing if you get one will be wrapped up in one of those that will be nice so I think uh, instead of talking about it, we should just get on and do it, don't you? Yeah. First thing I have to do, though, is fold a lot of tissue paper. And the other thing that I've lost it on the table now. Uh, oh, there are, everywhere I look, there's more things. <laughs> this then, I think this was an Instagram picture recently. Yeah, it was. Wasn't it? This, bo this uh, bowl of fabric scraps. Now, for the past few quilts that I've done, well I always save them. Do you save your trimmings off your, I nearly asked you Anna, <laughs> do you save your trimmings off your quilts? Because I do. I save my trimmings and I think oh well, they're so pretty in that bowl but if this packing oh, needs pretty. to be done we're going to stick a little bit of packing in. Now that means that you get to throw them away instead of me. <laughs> Is that all right? <laughs> okay so that's that but there was also the idea of putting in a little card. Where are the, are the cards somewhere about? A cop card. Yeah. I'm getting one. I have, yes, there you are. I've got a pile of them. So I've got, oh, they do fit in, don't they? Oh, they just do. If so um, these little cards, these are, we have a different designs of com compliment cards that my daughter drew. This is the one with me on it. She thinks that's what I look like. <laughs> I think it is what you look like, <laughs> but... You're obviously wearing a, a big coat, coat. Big coat. Lots of layers. Lots of layers. It was October. Yeah. Um, I love that picture. I really do, actually. <laughs> I'm just going to write on it and, and say hello to you. A personalised note. A little per yeah. And stick it in the top there so that that one is yours. That's what I'm going to do, Anna. 
Brilliant. So um, we're going to get started. Uh, yes. And so I think the first thing we need to do then, because uh, there's a finite number of these. We Let me explain about the boxes. These were boxes that Ted, who makes the candles over in Cumbria, I think they either ordered them by mistake or they were given them from someone else and they were the wrong size for anything that they sell. And they were just all piled up by the back door, made up, you know. I remember it was when we'd gone to pick up Christmas candles, Christmas candles last year. Yeah, or even the year before. It was. Yeah, it was yeah. the year before, you know, because yeah. I've had these in, in a box lying around for all that time. And so it it occurred to me that this would be the perfect vessel to pack these little treats into because yeah. this is decluttering as well. Mm -hmm. So actually, there's nothing here that we're getting rid of uh, that um, that is bought in or it's all of its stuff that's just been in drawers and now needs to be in your drawer, including the box. But could you pass me an empty box, please? Absolutely. Because when you get this box through the post, OK, it's going to look like this. OK, it's going to look really, really boring, really dull. But when you open it up, it's going to be a little bit like Pandora's box. Isn't yeah. It? <laughs> and I had this idea that if you wanted to, you could make it into a little display box. And I think that was a thing too far. But you could if you wanted to display yeah. some treasures in there. So what I'm going to do now then is uh, initiate Anna into the folding of the tissue paper and then we're going to get these into some sort of an order mm -hmm. so that uh, the production line of packing them will be easy. Yeah. Yeah, you up for that? Yeah, definitely. Let's do that then. So if you want to start stamping, uh, first of all, why don't you put these all around the outside of the table mm -hmm. so that we can access them easily Yeah. and I'll start folding tissue paper and you can start stamping boxes. So I'm just going to film Anna packing one of the boxes. We put the tissue paper in and this is a typical kind of box as one of Anna's wedding cranes. How cool is it that they're, all the cranes are going to be going to different Flying places all in the world? over the world, yeah. Very cool. It is. Put its wing down. Or are you putting a wing up? I've been putting them in like that. Okay, is, one is wing up. Right? Yeah, that's fine. What's that? So this is Kate made some little seed packets for when she was gathering seeds a few years yeah, ago. Yeah, but that's all there is left now. And we really like them. And and, and, and I was <sighs> saying, oh, I like this one. She's saying, oh, I like that one. And then Kate was like, oh, do you think we should keep them? And then we were like, no, I resist. I, I really resist. wanted to keep some of those. Yeah. So that's going in the bottom because that's flat. And then we've been putting a few little yeah. stamps in, which so are quite cute, aren't so they? So these are postage stamps here that are I love them and I just collect them so you're getting one of them in there because I don't need to collect these things oh a few pins see a pin pick it up all that day you'll have a pin a few buttons yeah oh, sorry. thimble okay not everybody will have all of these things oh some twinkly stars there uh what's in here oh pinwheels we wrap those up in a bit of tissue there uh small beads uh, going in there, some thread. Oh, that's a pretty colour. So mm. not everyone will have thread. That... Oh, and then these are the little ceramic stars and Anna's wrapped a few up in green tissue paper there. They're coming along. And then when I get to this section, oh. I've been putting a little bit of sparkle in. So there may be sparkle in your box, just a little bit, just to annoy you, because you know <laughs> how I like doing that. And then, of course, this is the fabric sparkle that we've got here. So just put a little bit of that just in. Just to pack all of that nicely. What's next? Oh, those are useful little clips that I got for a project ages and ages ago, and they're left over. Little buttons gone in there now. Uh, some more little... Let me see that packet of beads. Oh, they look cool. Put those in. Yeah. Should I? Oh, I know. I'm not keeping them. Oh, and then this is your little beeswax candle. It looks like I've got plenty of those, so I think everyone might get those. Um, I'm just going to twinkle a little bit more, a bit more fabric in there for you. <laughs> just mess it all up. Uh, what's going in now? A bit of ribbon. Oh, those are nice. Let's see those. Those are some wooden buttons that I bought uh, a while ago. So there's a little pack of those going on. I think there's 10 in there. And then I've got these larger ceramic buttons in, yes, in different colours. I made colors. these. And there's just a few of those. Wrapped up. There's not many of those. And then this is the Philippa's bits of glass here. And Anna's wrapped them in a bit of my mum's fabric. 
that's some... going in and some seed beads and then you're going to pack all that and then while you're doing that i'm going to write the little card okay so i'll do that now how pretty does that look though <laughs> it does doesn't yeah. it and so then it gets one one end gets tucked up you do that and oh, okay all we'll right swap. We'll swap so now we swap over <laughs> and i take this box that anna's packed so beautifully and put the tissue paper in fold over that part there and then we get one of these stickers and i need my glasses on for this because they're little bit tricky to undo in fact what i'm doing with these because we've got a fair few i'm going to pop one in as well so that gets popped in there and then i'm going to stick the top up like this and then i've got one of the cards that martha designed come on i'll write this one anna So they're not all going to say that, but no. that one does. And we won't know which one it is because then it's going to get packed up like that. And that's ready to go in the box down here where the other ones are that we've done. And that, as they say, is a wrap. And I'm really pleased with how they're turning out. They're turning out nicer than I thought they would be. In fact, I keep taking things out. Oh no, I want that. And Anna keeps putting them in. <laughs> <laughs> so we're having a fun time and if you do go over to the shop and the link's always in the description below where you'll see the treasure boxes listed as today's shop update so thank you very much and i hope you enjoy sharing my treats and treasures thanks anna <laughs>